Now we're going to cover uh, navigation and changing views. We covered uh, switching between standard views through the uh, pop-up menu in the view bar in an earlier video. However, there are a few other ways you can change views. Um, the, the first one is using the numpad on your uh, keyboard if you have one. Uh, these are the set of keys on the right side. Um, essentially, the, the shortcuts for uh, top plan, left isometric, front, and so on are the number keys of the numpad. Uh, zero is top plan, one is left isometric, uh, two is front, three is right isometric, four is left, five is top, six is right, seven is left rear isometric, eight is back, and uh, nine is right rear isometric. Uh, these uh, view changes, these standard view changes, can also be changed through the view menu under standard views as well. Now let's go into uh, moving around in the document. Uh, the pan tool is the primary tool for uh, basically moving uh, left, right, up, down uh, within the document. We've mentioned this previously uh, when we talked about the, uh, using the middle mouse button uh, to activate the pan tool. Um, so of course you can simply just press down on the middle mouse button if you have one. This activates the pan tool and will allow you to move up, down, left, and right. Um, you can also just access the, the pan tool directly through the basic palette. Um, if you see, the icon looks like a little hand. Uh, this will activate the tool and then simply doing a standard left click, then moving up, down, left, right uh, with the mouse will move you through the document. Another way to uh, quickly activate the pan tool is to uh, activate the boomerang mode, which is essentially pressing and holding on the uh, space bar uh, on your keyboard. Uh, you can then do basically cl click and hold the left mouse button and then do the same operation, move up, down, left, right. The uh, benefit of uh, using the middle mouse button or the uh, boomerang mode with the uh, space bar is that these modes can be used while in the middle of using another tool. For instance, if I start drawing a polyline here, in the middle of drawing a line segment, I can either press down on the middle mouse button and pan or I can hold the, uh, the space bar on my keyboard and pan. This allows you to uh, move around in the document while drawing an object or while using another tool. Now let's talk about zoom. Um, as we mentioned previously, again, uh, in the view bar, there are various zoom options uh, with set zoom intervals. Um, and we've also mentioned that you can use the, uh, the, the middle scroll wheel in your mouse to zoom in and out. This is by far the best and easiest way to zoom. Um, however, there is also a zoom tool. Um, again, this is located in the basic palette. Um, and it, it, the icon looks like a, uh, a magnifying glass. Uh, the first mode of this tool is a, um, a two-click mode. Uh, you draw essentially a rectangle around the area you wish to zoom in on. Uh, so you click once uh, to start the rectangle, click again to end it, and then you will zoom in on that area. To zoom out, uh, you simply hold the Alt key and repeat that same action. The uh, second mode of the zoom tool is a, um, a click and hold operation. You essentially click once and hold, and uh, the, the point at which you click is the center of the zoom, or is the focus of the zoom. Uh, you then move your mouse up or down to zoom in or out. Now let's talk about uh, rotating around objects. Uh, the primary tool for this is the flyover tool. Uh, the flyover tool, again, is in the basic palette. Um, it allows you to uh, rotate the view in 3D space. Uh, we'll come back to, to this pop-up message you just saw after I activated the tool in a moment. Um, the tool itself has four modes. Uh, the first mode is a two-click mode. Uh, the first click sets the center of the rotation. Then you click and hold uh, and move the mouse around to rotate around the center point you just set. Uh, now going back to the message that popped up uh, when we first activated the tool, this was a tip uh, letting you know that you can quickly activate the flyover tool by um, holding down on the control key while holding down the middle mouse button. Um, if you remember, uh, the middle mouse button, as we've mentioned several times, uh, will activate the uh, pan tool. But if you then hold the control key while doing that, it switches to the flyover tool. Again, this is great uh, to allow you to navigate uh, around a document while using another tool. Now let's go in and talk about uh, the projection settings. Uh, by default, uh, the view will either be a 2D plan, if you're in a top plan view, 
or in an orthogonal projection. Uh, this is when you're in a 3D view. Uh, these projections uh, do not distort the view of objects in any way. Um, however, there are also uh, perspective projection options, such as narrow, normal, wide, and custom. These perspective projections will distort the view of an object uh, when in a 3D view. Uh, these give a uh, more realistic view of the objects. As we mentioned uh, in earlier videos, uh, to, you can quickly access the uh, projection settings through the view bar, or you can go to the uh, view menu and go down to projection and adjust these settings. Uh, you can also set a default projection setting when you switch into a 3D view. Uh, this is done in the uh, Vectorworks preferences. Uh, so you just go up to Tools, Options, Vectorworks Preferences. Uh, then under the 3D tab, uh, you can choose the default projection when switching to a 3D view setting. Now let's go into uh, navigating when in a perspective view. Uh, the primary tool for this is the walkthrough tool. Uh, this tool allows you to uh, simulate movement through a 3D space. Um, you can essentially walk inside of a model rather than just looking at the outside of a model. The walkthrough tool is in the visualization tool set in the tool sets palette. There are uh, three main modes, walk, look around, and elevator modes, as well as a gamer mode uh, that allows you to use the WASD keys uh, to navigate. The first mode uses a single click and hold operation. Uh, so you click and hold in the drawing area and then move the mouse. As you move the mouse forward, left, right, you'll start to move through the model. You can quickly switch between uh, the, the two other modes using the Alt key. Uh, this will activate the uh, look around mode and the Shift key to uh, activate the elevator mode. And these essentially switch you into more of a, a rotate and a, an up down change in your view. Coming up in the uh, next video, we're going to go into uh, general document organization.